students welcome to the channel physics by iitians in this video we shall understand uh, another interview question that's what, that was asked in iit kharagpur phd interview that why glass is transparent so in ob daily observation we actually ignore the facts or we actually ignore the basic of that physics that why glass is transparent why metal is opaque and why any object is opaque or transparent what are the factors that decide whether it will be opaque or transparent and this opaque or transparency is in the visible wavelength because all we are seeing within a certain part of the electromagnetic radiation that is the visible radiation or vis visible light that is uh, 380 to 750 nanometer or 700 nanometer roughly so we are telling this for the optical region which we can see with naked eye now we will understand in this video why glass is transparent we all know the fresnel's law for reflection and transmission which decides how much the light can be reflected from the at the boundary of an interface of two refractive indices of different refractive indices materials and how much the light will be transmitted so the reflective reflectance is decided by this formula that is nt minus ni divided by nt plus ni whole square and transmittance is decided by the formula 4 nt ni divided by nt plus ni whole square for normal incidence now here look here both are dependent on the refractive index of that material or the different materials that is nt that is the uh, n2 or nt or n2 you can understand it and ni is the incident and nt is the transmitted media okay so there are a certain boundary so here the refractive index is ni and at this bound uh, this material the refractive index is nt so both are dependent the reflectivity the transmittivity are dependent on the reflective uh, refractive index of the material now for the normal incidence we have already told told that theta i equals to 0 and we get r and t as this formulas now when the suppose the air glass interface we have to calculate it the how much the light will be reflected and how much the light would get transmitted so for air the refractive index of air is n equals to 1 and for glass the reflective refractive index ri is 1.5 so you calculate r from this formula we get r that is reflective reflectance as 4 percent and transmission as 96 percent so most of the light 96 percent of the light can transmit through a glass that's why it shows transparent to our visible length okay now we'll understand what is the meaning of the refractive index and how these are deciding the transparency or the reflectivity or the transmittivity of any material so we have to apply the maxwell equations so we here we look the maxwell equation in a dielectric or in a dielectric medium the maxwell equations becomes del dot e equals to minus del dot p by epsilon naught c square curl of b equals to del del t of p by epsilon naught plus e curl of e equals to minus del b del t and del dot b equals to 0 so these are the changes here for the dielectric medium why is it so because in a dielectric medium there are no free charges only the bound charges exist so rho will be replaced um, rho will be minus del dot p and j is del rho del t uh, sorry rho is minus del dot p and j is del p by del t p is the polarization here now we'll understand why is it happening actually so what is happening inside understand the light is nothing but an electromagnetic wave now electromagnetic wave has oscillating electric and magnetic field now the bound electrons do oscillatory motion due to the force exerted by the incident electric field qe so the light which has which is incident it has oscillatory electric and magnetic field because it is an electromagnetic wave and whenever this light is incident on the material that is the dielectric material or any kind of material this field can exert force q into e on the electrons and in the dielectric case 
these electrons are bound electrons for the metal case it will be free electrons so these bound electrons do oscillatory motion and this oscillatory motion is the forced vibration motion and this leads to the polarization which polarization we have taken account into our maxwell equations okay because there are no free charges so we don't consider the free ele free electron motion that is the free conduction current now what does it give this gives a formula of refractive index as a property of the material and n equals to 1 plus n into q e square divided by 2 epsilon naught m omega naught square minus omega square where omega naught is its natural frequency and omega is the incident radiation frequency that is the frequency of the incident electric field now look here this factor will decide you what will be the refractive index of that material because if it is zero means omega naught equals to omega your refractive index of the material will be tends to infinity or is tending to infinity so or if this omega naught minus omega naught is less than omega or much much less than omega this factor will be then different so we have to neglect somewhere the factors for air the n is 1 because this factor this whole factor is very very lower very very lower that is the, the factor tends to uh, we neglect that factor so air refractive index of the air is 1 and other materials for the other materials the refractive index will be the deciding factor is this one but if we here one thing has been uh, has not been written here the damping factor term which is important for the dielectric case so here we have to add another iota factor here so now we have to understand that what is happening here in the case of the dielectric medium and the dielectric medium the refractive index is the complex index of refraction that is it has certain part or for any medium the refractive index is complex so the refractive index parts consist of a real part and an imaginary part so ini is the real part and nr is the imaginary part now the electric field can be written from the maxwell equation we get that electric field vector ex equals to suppose is it, it its x component has been taken so ex equals to e naught exponential iota omega t minus nz by c and now refractive index of this n value is complex so you put the value the in the electric field expression we get the electric field which is passed through the which is passing through the medium it is after passing we get that after solving the maxwell equations for the dielectric media we get ex equals to e naught exponential of minus omega n i z by c into exponential e to the power iota omega t minus n r z by c now look here this is the amplitude term and this one is the transmission along the z axis with the velocity n r by c so sum of the amplitude or sum of the amplitude of the electric field is here will get absorbed and this absorption factor is e to the power so intensity is proportional to this amplitude factors so e to the power minus 2 omega n i z by c so what is happening here so this is the graphical representation that a graph of e x for some instant t if n i is nearly equals to n r by 2 pi so the electric field is exponentially decreasing now what decides the transparency the transmission of light waves decides the transparency so this refractive index part which is actually denote two parts one is the real part another is the imaginary part and this imaginary part of the refractive index is telling you the absorption inside the material and the real part of the refractive index is telling you the transmission of the reflect uh, of the electromagnetic wave so the transparency factor will be decided by the real part of the reflective in, uh, refractive index and now what is happening here if the vibrational energy of a light wave is passed through the object then the object appears clear or transparent because it is passing so it can be 
transparent. Now, if the energy only causes vibration in the surface before reflecting off the object, then the object appears opaque, just like the metal case. We have already discussed the why metals are shiny or why metals are so much reflecting and it do not pass or transmit light so that we cannot look inside the metal. Op metal appears opaque to the visible frequency. Now, the question, why the glass is transparent? Because the transparent, they allow light to pass in the visible region and glass atoms do not absorb most of the light. So majority of the photon pass through them and hence glass is transparent. So that at the visible frequency that is omega, this factor uh, is not equal. I mean omega naught is equal to naught is equal to omega. So this factor is very very lower and the light is not absorbed by that glass material or light can easily transmit through the glass material and its refractive index is only 1.5 for the visible wavelength. Now you have a question that the okay we can go up to another frequency whether the visibility of the glass or transparency of the glass will be different is of course because the refractive index is the wavelength dependent whenever or omega dependence so whenever you are changing the omega whenever you are changing the frequency of the incident light the refractive index will be changed and it denote depends on whether it is nearer to its natural frequency of the oscillation of that uh, electrons bound electrons or whether it is farther from the oscillation of the bound electrons. Here the incident frequency which is lies lying within the visible region cannot oscillate that much of the bound electrons. The bound electrons can observe the electromagnetic radiation. So the absor absorb the electromagnetic radiation. So absorbance is much more lower in the visible region for the glass material. So it, the light can get transmitted easily or the glass material uh, appears as transparent. So hopefully you understand the video. We have an announcement that we are going to organize a computer based time limited online test series and this test for the CSIR, NET, GATE, JAM, TFR, just like exams and these are all will be computer based and solutions will also be available after each test and rank will be given on your performance compared to others. So we request you to complete the test within five days uh, after the link activation. So the first link for the test will be activated from tomorrow. You can choose any of your time to give the test to attend the test and the cost has been kept minimum. You can choose any of the scheme according to your choice and watch this video for the full illustration and don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and for more we are we will be back with more helpful videos thank you